What's going on everybody? This is going to be a real quick video. I wasn't even planning on doing this till I started getting uh, text here. And now lots more text. There was over $2 million in card value stolen at the Dallas Sports Card Show just today from what I'm reading here. So these are just some of the posts. I'm going to turn some of these messages off as they come in. I do apologize. Um, I think these were the cards that were actually uh, at the Midwest Monster not even a month ago because I remember some of these prices. Now, I could be off. might just been, you know, my wild imagination or whatever. But when you see just the amount of cards in here, it's just insane. I mean, you're talking Mickey Mantle rookies, Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinsons, Hank Aaron rookies. It's immense. Um... And this is uh, from right here from the guy who had them stolen today at the Dallas Card Show. Something terrible happened. As stupid as I feel writing this post, I'm reaching out to community for help. I was set up today, and a slab box of cards were taken. These are the contents for the most part. They will be trying to move these, I am sure. Authorities involved, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you guys get the point. If I was the person who would be a thief on this stuff, you know these are already cracked. And they're probably going to be submitting these at a very, very slow rate, would be my guess. Because it would just be what I would think somebody would do offhand. I could be wrong. Um, let me pull up some of these pictures here. We're going to go into here. So these are just some of the groups I belong to. Uh, as you guys can see, one, two, three, four Mickey Mantle rookies. Hank Aaron there. One, two, three mantles there. That's why I said I think there was four total. Babe Bruce, Pete Rose, Mr. Nolan Ryan, PSA 8 rookie. Uh, Clemente rookies. Looks like those were SGCs. DiMaggio's, Beckett, uh, PSA. Sorry, I'm getting hit with a lot of text at once here. One, two, three, four, five Hank Aaron rookie cards. The old big league uh, Babe Ruth with the bat in the shoulder. A bunch of the old, uh, what are those, the T206s and stuff like that. A lot more mantles. 53 Bowman mantles. You guys get to drift here as I'm flipping through. Trying to see. I thought there was another picture. Here's all the Jackies. And Frankies, too. Willie Mazes. All right, we're back to the original picture. I'm going to come out of this. Uh, the gentleman that if you see any of this stuff out to, I would look up on... Uh, what do you call it? Um, Facebook. This is his name. So I'll give you guys a second. If you guys need to jot that down, you know something about, reach out to the gentleman. That's just crazy. One of the biggest shows with all this security, video footage, whatever it may be out there. And th this is a huge vintage lot. I mean, wow. Now, I know there's a lot of people on blog forums will be able to look and be like, hey, this is that same exact card because of these marks here and stuff like that. But to be honest, this stuff may not even populate around very, very quickly. Because um, once word spreads out anymore, you guys know on social media, it floods everywhere. But this is more of a, if you guys see this, hear stuff about it, you guys know, especially if you come across some of this stuff with the serial numbers... You could use the video to reference it, you know, just hit stop, and you'd be like, hey, a Mantle 52 Tops. I mean, I don't know how many people are going to have a Mantle 52 Tops come up to their table at a lot of the local shows, but you never know. I know some of you guys are, have uh, card shops and stuff like that, but keep an eye out. Eventually, it's just going to probably start filtering very, very slowly. They may even get them regraded. No idea. But this is a real shame that somebody took all of this. Uh, somewhere on here, I know, there's just, that's how many people are talking about it. They said it was over two million in value. 
right here. Over $2 million uh, stolen at the Dallas Card Show. All the groups are posting this stuff right now. So we're going to do our little bit of due diligence out there. Hopefully be able to help out. And then uh, hopefully these get found and somebody gets arrested for that stuff. But this is like a real quick flash video, guys. I thought this was pretty big. Um, a lot of people go to these big shows. We had Dallas going on. A lot of local card shows going on. Nashville was going on. Uh, wow. I mean, just to walk away with a, a slab box like that. That's just insane. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Again, if you know anything, you want to reach out to a gentleman, go back to the video. I tried to blow it up best I could so you guys could see a name, reach out to him, let him know, hey, these just came up to my table. Maybe they're the exact card still in the slabs. I highly would doubt that. Raw-wise, if they're cracked, we might not see these again. Hopefully, they do have some kind of video there at the Dallas Card Show where they're able to find this stuff and see who exactly took them. Other than that, guys, sorry to be the bearer of bad news with theft like this, but we got to get pushed out. See you all next video.